During a live stream a few weeks ago, I may have invented a new set that if Pokemon actually did, it would be pretty insane. That set would be called V51 and it would consist of Japanese Pokemon 151 and V-Star Universe. And if you just magically clap them together like this, you get this custom box of v51 okay now like logistically it's not the most aesthetically pleasing thing because it doesn't quite work out but don't worry about that you you know the gist i'm getting at so yeah like i said while i was live streaming my strikes while i was who while i was live streaming a few weeks ago i was opening up both of these sets and as i was talking too fast like i normally do i said and now we're opening up v51 i was like that set doesn't exist but could you imagine if it did and it gave me this idea to open up this custom box. So we're just going to jumble these all together like this as if it was a mixed set. And we are going to open up a mix of 151 and V Star Universe. Now this is two boxes worth. A box of V Star and a box of... I'm just going to have to balance those like... No, it's like the Leaning Tower of Pisa over here. We're going to make it work. I have opened up a box of each. We've mixed all the packs together. And we're going to get straight into it. So I have absolutely been loving V-Star Universe recently. I feel like if there's a set that you want to maybe like branch into, starting off with the Thievul straight away there, double whammer. So I can't even speak and already it's, it's explaining what I love about it so much. Every single pack, there's a hit. Every single pack from every box we open, there is normally a hit. Whether it's a V or higher, there is always something. As you can see, there's also the secret rare energies in here, which are like these textured cards, which are pretty cool. You get Radiance. I mean, the list goes on. And that is why I love it so much. I actually think if there's a set that you're going to spend your money on and you kind of want to guarantee that you're going to get something out of it, a V-Star box, I think, is a great option. I can see something here. Is it going to be something big? We get the Alephion V-Star. And the reverses in this are so pretty. Look at the sparkle. And then you've got Japanese 151. This set, people just can't get enough of it at the moment. I am doing something absolutely crazy, which I didn't think I'd do when I first started opening the set. But I am actually master setting the English and Japanese. I'm just, I'm going for it. I don't know what's come over me, but here we are. So today we'll see if we can get any gaps to fill the master set. I don't even know what I need, but I need some master balls. So we just need to make sure we get the Arbok EX right there. We need to make sure we don't fly past any of those because that is a possibility. But yeah, this is a set. Could you imagine if they can just, they combined everything, the master balls, the God packs, the radiance, the gold, you name it. Um, that's another thing I have never pulled for anyone on stream before is a god pack of anything. I've opened up a 151 god pack for myself and actually I was on whatnot. Someone else invited me onto their stream while I was at a card show. Oh, how cute. We get the Charmeleon right there, illustration rare. Um, and while I was on their whatnot stream, I actually pulled a god pack for someone who had bought the pack, but I've never done it on one of my own streams for any of you guys. So I'd really, really like to do it. And I have also pulled one god pack from V-Star Universe. I thought I would film a short one one day opening up a pack because the set had just come out and lo and behold I got a god pack and it's one of those things I didn't even believe it happened no one believes it happened but trust me it happened one pack out of a box that I was opening myself and I thought Let, let's just film this one as a short and we'll see what we'll do okay right we keep going need to keep checking for the master balls the alakazam let me know down below what's your favorite set out of the two and also are you a fan of V51, the brand new set that I've just created right here? Maybe I should do a master set where it's just all of these in together. Like, that'd be pretty cool. That'd be pretty cool. Right. Okay. I haven't mixed these very well because now we're just opening a load of 151. We'll grab some V-Star packs in a moment. But so far, not too bad. Nothing too crazy. I would really like to pull the Pikachu Reverse uh, Master Ball. That's a really big card at the moment. The Sunrise Sunset Mew. Love that. Um, and the Gold Mew as well. Obviously, in English... You can't actually get that Mew EX from the set. You also can't get the Mewtwo illustration rare from the set. You can only get it out of the UPC, but in Japanese, it's all in the main set. One thing I do really like that they've done though, and I was worried that they were gonna not do, was um, the gold Mew in... 
he's just talk we were just talking about you thank you for making an appearance right there that incredible Mewtwo so that you cannot pull in English 151 you can only get it in the UPC but with the gold Mew they've made it a metal card in the UPC however they still have included it in the main set in English which I quite like so I was kind of worried that that was just going to be missed out as well and then I feel like they're you know they're removing some of the best cards from the set and that's just no fun right there okay do you think should we should we say it should we put it out there god pack anyone do we think we can get a god pack oh, these illustration rares are just so cute let's get that over there the bulbasaur um i'd love i'd love to get a god pack I'd, even if it's for me i just want to pull a god pack just someone let me pull a god pack on camera the last got one oh there's something here hold on hold on hold that thought we have got the Full Art Alakazam EX, which is the secret rare right there. We still have the chance of possibly getting an SAR though, so let's not write that off just yet. Uh, but yeah, we'd love to get a God Pack like on a video. It's just exciting. It's just exciting so you guys can see that it happens. Right, no Master Ball yet unless I've flown past it. That is also one of my favorite hollows from the set right there. Right, couple more 151 and then we'll dip into some V-Star because this is meant to be a mixed box. This is not meant to be just one over the other. I always I feel like I need to go to Specsavers. My eyes are shocking. Right, let's mix in. Oh my goodness, my cards are falling everywhere. Right, let's let's throw in some V-Star, shall we? Let's uh, see what we can get. So with V-Star Universe, like I said, every single pack has normally got something, whether it's a V or better. There's Radiance, there's Golds, there's oh, the, there's so much in this set. And I feel like it's a set almost everyone kind of, not forgot about, but it definitely got like pushed to the side a bit when um, 151 came out. Um, but this set is just as fun. It's just as fun. It's just got as many good cards um, and it's super fun to open as well. Like I said, if you're gonna sit down and open a box or something and you wanna guarantee yourself something good, something crazy, I'd say V star is definitely where it's at. How many packs have we got left? Let's give these a good mix up right here. I feel like we do something really, really big from uh, V star universe. But like I said, 151 could still deliver with an SAR and we still haven't hit the master ball just yet. So let's see if we can pull a master ball that I haven't got. Although I'm not gonna lie, I should have bought my master set out for this video because I feel like I can't remember what master balls I do and don't need right now. Right, here we go. Next up, we are, there we go, we get the array. Radiant Guard of War. And the Radiance in Japanese just have that. It's almost like a disco shimmer. And we have a Rayquaza V right there. Very, very nice. Let's pop those in my hip pile. We keep going. Next up, V Star Universe. Come on. I feel like we're building up to a really, really big SAR right here. What's it going to be? Okay, we get the Toxtricity and the Mu V Max right there. Very, very nice. Maybe I'll do more of these videos with the high class Japanese sets where we mix them together and we do like a custom booster box. One thing that is exciting, there is a new, still no masterful like that, still no masterful like that, still no masterful yet. There is a new high class Japanese set coming out in December. So we definitely will be opening that here on the channel and over on whatnot as well so make sure you're following me on both oh we finally i was like hold on a minute that looks like the master ball there it is the master ball reverse you can see the m there as we hold it under the light i'm not sure if i've got that one actually so i will double check that after the video and i am also like i said completing the set in english so i am going to have to do some videos where we open up some english 151 and see if we can fill some gaps in the binder and do you know what next time i will do i'll bring my binder to the video so that we can actually see what we're looking for okay i feel like we do something pretty hefty from vstar and we've got two packs left if you haven't already guys make sure you hit that like button come on are we ready is it going to be in this pack or is it going to be in the last pack my goodness now we are not forgetting that we have a meal tank here hashtag shout out deep pocket monster do you like meal tank we do but i'm sorry the mewtwo v star takes the i told you i told you there was something spicy hiding in this box oh my goodness damn okay we've got to open the very last pack because you never know there, there could be something in here i'm gonna put mill tank on the screen as well because i feel like mill tank got overshadowed there massively and uh, we love ourselves a mill tank right the very last pack okay nothing to yeah let's not worry about that guys if you haven't already 
hit that like button. I'll see you again next time.